What's up guys, I'm the Disc Golf Nerd. I'm really excited to bring you guys some new content featuring Tristan Tanner from Team Latitude 64. He's a very high level player. We saw him have a breakout performance at the 2020 Las Vegas Challenge and he is kind enough to donate some of his time, collaborate with me to bring you guys some instructional content from a professional perspective. This is something I've wanted to bring to you guys for a long time and I'm really happy to finally have uh, a really high level player to work with me, collaborate on some videos so I can bring that content to you guys and hopefully help you get better at disc golf. It's a big mission here and even though I am not a pro and I'm not a very high level player, I'm really happy to help when I can and now that I can bring in uh, somebody as talented as Tristan, hopefully we can take it to the next level. So. To support this endeavor, please go into the link in the description below. You can find Tristan's YouTube channel and his social media in there. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's very active, puts out all kinds of great videos there as well. And you can also find his Instagram to keep up with what he's up to on social media. Also, big thank you to Central Coast Disc Golf. I'm sure all you guys subscribe to Central Coast already, but if you don't, check out Central Coast Disc Golf, putting out some of the best disc golf coverage we've seen and they were kind enough to allow us to use some of the footage to demonstrate how good Tristan really is at putting so that we can uh, help to uh, kind of illustrate some of the points that he's talking about in the video. So this episode is about putting. Check back for more episodes about backhand, forehand, beginner tips, stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for your support. Let's get to Tristan. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Disc Golf Nerd. I'm Tristan Tanner, part of Team Latitude 64. Today, I'm giving you my top five tips for putting. To know is going to give this a full but go. this is a scarier bit in my opinion oh 100 percent yeah. than what garrett had because he's hyzering down the hill if he misses that that was really committed beautiful putt but wasn't that putt was going so fast i wish we had the radar gun on that one it might have registered oh, that is a nice wow. putt as well and not the first one out of that guy this was a nice putt as well almost circles the edge feels like he's made quite a few of those already this round he really has yeah not wrong about that. Did you see the scoring spread on this one? Tons of pars. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Because it's a tough birdie unless you're Tristan. Oh my God. Tip number one, find a routine that's comfortable for you. If you keep a good routine throughout every single one of your putts in practice, tournaments, or any round that you play, it's going to build that consistency and that muscle memory to make your putt repeatable. Tip number two, find a comfortable grip. There are a lot of different grips for putting. Some people like to keep it up top or keep their finger up top. Some people like to curl it underneath. Some people curl all their fingers under. Uh, there's a whole lot of different things that can work for a whole lot of different people. As long as it's comfortable for you, especially when you're putting, you're short enough, you're close enough to the basket, your grip really doesn't make a huge difference, but just make sure it's something you are comfortable and confident with. Tip number three take out any unnecessary movement. So when you're lining up the shot, I wouldn't do too much movement up or down or left or right. And I also wouldn't hinge too much with your body. Try to keep the least amount of movement possible to get the same results. A lot of times, if you are doing too much movement, there are too many moving parts in your putt, then it makes it really hard to keep that consistent even if you have a good routine and you practice a lot. Tip number four. Follow through. Following through looks different for a lot of different people. So it can be anything from keeping your hand close or keeping your hand extended all the way to the target. But whatever your follow through is, make sure to commit to that follow through and hold that point of release all the way to the basket. Tip number five, and arguably the most important part of putting is picking a spot to aim on the basket or through the basket and then keeping your eye on that spot all the way through. So if I am putting and I pick my link, I have it picked exactly where I want it, I putt even after my disc comes out of my hand and I look for the disc or if I move my eyes to somewhere else on the basket, chances are that is happening before the disc is actually coming out of your hand, which can lead you to miss some more putts and add some inconsistency. But if you look at your link all the way through until the disc hits the chains, drops down in the cage, and then you look, that's giving you the best chance of not having your head move or your eyes move, which will change your aiming point during your putt. Thanks everyone for tuning into this video. My channel 
links and my social media will all be down in the description if you guys want to go check that out. I'm putting out a lot of content right now. But for now, be sure to like and subscribe to the Disc Golf Nerd, and we'll see you guys in the next video. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again to Tristan Tanner for donating his time and working with me to collaborate on this video. You can find the link to his YouTube channel and his Instagram in the description below. You can also find the links to my Patreon and all that kind of stuff. DGN merch available now as well. Thank you for watching. I'll check you later. Cheers. Thank you so much for watching and big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you would like to see your name listed in the credits of all of my videos, go to patreon.com slash discgolfnerd.